Right, we got a heap of ammo. Let's go find some deer. We'll go and get some hide. We'll make a whole brand new set of kit. And then we will go and do the last couple of quests. Before I go and find a new base location. Oh my goodness, these guys have been going berserk. Why are you building such a big house here? It's like the start area. Such a travesty of an idea to allow people to just build willy-nilly in this opening area. Now, I was already thinking about this, right? So we've already exceeded the limits of the levels required for this start area, which is fine. I'll probably go around and just do everything anyway. But um, I probably will leave this area. We might start heading out into the, the higher level stuff. Mainly because it will get me away from the spawn area where everyone's got all their stuff. And so I could head over to this railway junction, for example, and um, set myself up in the hills around here somewhere. That would get me away from all of these people who are crowded everywhere. I mean, you could teleport and all the rest of it, as well as you got the bike. So, um, yeah. What's the strange lady got to say for herself this time? Good. You made it. I'm guessing that gun served you well. Uh, no. Yeah, this was the quickest way to bring you here. These towers are even supposed to let you travel between worlds. Deadsville is the perfect place to dig up info on the area. That merchant over by the old truck looks like she gets around. Maybe she knows something useful. Then you should have already asked her. But I guess not. Come take a look. Anything that catches your eye, I'm always open for business. Wait, I've never seen you before, but you're a mayfly, ain't you? Oh, thank goodness. I could really use some help. My name's Claire. Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. I sent a team over to a place called the Rotten Manor three days ago to collect some goods for me. But they never came back. It's possible that they ran off with the goods. Don't be so cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid that something must have happened to them. Rumor is the Rotten Manor seen a surge of deviance recently. I suspect there's a deviation behind it. All I know is what I heard from that well-dressed gentleman over there. He should be able to tell you more. There's no question. That guy stands out. Well, you'd better talk to him and see what he knows. Good luck. Oh, and I'll happily pay a reward if you can recover my stuff for me. I'll mark Rotten Manor on your map. Make sure to stock up on ammo before you go, all right? Uh huh. I got lots of ammo already. Let's go talk to this guy, who obviously looks like he's going to be some kind of eccentric. And know the place for the first time, through the unknown, unremembered gate. Uh-huh. You're an eccentric old ah, man, aren't you? A mayfly, and one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you know about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right man. I am Samuel Lowe, a humble scholar specializing in the fascinating phenomena we call deviations. And as for you, you seek keys with which to unlock the Dark Tower, don't you? But I'd be wary of what else you might open up. Do you always speak in riddles like this? I was merely setting the mood. The world still deserves something poetic. It's going don't with you the think? detail on his hair. Now, you're interested in the deviation inside that monolith, aren't you? But the tower is locked up tight, and its keys are rift anchors across the wetlands. Rift anchors? Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? Activating them should give us access to the rift space inside the monolith. Spot on. And now tell me, where do you think those anchors would be? Usually places with the heaviest stardust pollution. The Rotten Manor would definitely be one of them. Indeed. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. I'm sure it will be a remarkable story to share. By the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. Uh-huh. Good on you, buddy. Now that we know what to do, let's split up to cover more ground. I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. 
Once you've activated the rift anchors, come meet me at the monolith gate. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. That place must be packed with deviants. Oh, and one more thing. I have a motorcycle here you can use. That should help speed things along. It's starting to get more and more like, uh... Oh yeah, this looks like it'll be fun to ride. Destiny. Wow. Look at their build. They're going berserk with this. In the settlement, Rotten Manor. We've got looking for a mystery crate, a weapon, an armor crate, and defeating the fire of normal enemies. This is probably a good candidate for uh, potential how tos. Bye bye, bike. So we've got this guy. Oh, didn't kill him. Oh, wow, that was a headshot. Nice. Get some acid. Smack him in the ass. Let's try this shotgun out, eh? Whoa, take that. Smashed him in the back. Oh, these look a little bit odd. Claire's goods. Too bad her team didn't make it though. Mm -hmm. Look at this substance. It must have come from that festering gel deviation. Oh, hello. Doppelganger, okay. Turning me back. All right, rift machine. Nice and easy. Well done. I've noticed some other strange stardust readings elsewhere, quite similar to what we encountered here. I've marked their locations. Hopefully, we'll find the other rift anchors there. Okay, weapon and armor crate. It was basically the first thing as you walk in the door of the main residence uh, is where you find that crate. Another crate upstairs to the right. Get a whole bunch of good stuff there. Keep going up. Very top of the manor we have the mystical crate. Which is giving us a pistol. Did we actually get a pistol? Looks like it might be a blueprint, right? Right. So I have that one. You can see the little puzzle piece. I have gained the. Uh... I actually have that blueprint now, as I've gotten enough fragments. Current Blueprint Fragments is a Wanderer. Apparently you can get different versions. Huntsman, Operator, Juggernaut, Beyonder and Stranger. Collect a Fragments to upgrade your Blueprints into Stronger Weapons. Very good. So we have completed this area. Not to my satisfaction though. Hello. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Come on. 
<sighs> uh, deviant fridge. Who would have thought? Get the stuff from the trash, and that's a big dog. Corrupted wolf. Okay, might get some honey from it. Nice. More potatoes. Potato. 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 What else is there? Alright. Pop it down. Vroom, vroom. We need to head back to base, right? Be that one there. That is a really odd path to take. It really just doesn't path well. It obviously tries to take the shortest distance from the road to your base rather than shortest distance. So we're just going to ignore what it just said to do and we're going to go this way instead. Alright, we got lots of ammo. Don't really need the bike because this one's so bloody close. What the hell was that? In we go. All right, so we are now in Throughville. Hello, man. Apparently, shoddy while good is not enough to take him out in one hit sometimes. Okay, still very satisfying. Uh, so we need Rift Anchor, we need two weapon and armor crates, and we need the mystical crate. Right, that's a lot of copper sitting there. But that's all good. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hello, Morphic. That is a gear crate. What's that? A bunker access card. Okay. Right, so in terms of positioning, we are almost dead center in the town, basically. Uh, just near the yellow bus. We have a gear crate. A uh, spider was carrying a toilet plunger. Of all things. Alright, I can see both the items I want. Over there! Weapon and mystical. Very good. Hello. Where are you coming from? Silly bugger. Alright, so. Really? Ra, ra. So when we look at ourselves, so this is uh, basically, I guess, the north eastern building. It's like a construction zone. And you want to basically Climb your way up to the top of that building and you'll get yourself the weapon crate and the mystical crate. You all good? Yeah? So we were getting blast armor, huh? Ooh, blast pants. And not as good as the rustic pants, though. So that's what we just got, which is a 64 compared to a 56. You're right. So the blast stuff is better than the rustic. It's probably because I upgraded a bunch of stuff, right? We are sorted for this one, so I guess we head back home. Oh my goodness, that thing's bloody stupid. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, you numbnuts? Building across the road like that. There should be a no build rate right history on the road. Bye bye bike. Alright, we're here. Level 8 critters, huh? Still not immune to headshots. Okay, where on the map are we? So, we're up at Brookham. And so, the uh, obviously the rift tankers are pretty easy to find because they mark them on the map. But as you can see, it's kind of up towards the top right end of the town. And we probably should also go and grab the act of theft quest while we're here. So for now, let's activate that. Go away. 
There's no one here. Okay, just sort of starts off. Oh, hello. So, the act of theft. Let's have a quick look over here. Uh, find the books that belong to the church. Okay, I'm guessing the uh, purple glow that I just saw is it. Here's some kind of crazy noise out there, right? Oh my, look at that! What do you reckon? Those nodules on its body are its weak points. All right. Clear up a little bit first. Yeah, that's a weak point. That's a weak point. Oh, this thing's huge. Take that. Right in the strange looking flower head. Bang. The glutton. What do we get? <laughs> Ball point pen. <laughs> yeah. Winning. Oh, and an eclipse cortex. Whatever those things are. Damn, I like this rifle. is just really nice. Take the ancient book. A few flares around the place. Football? Why not? Right, so that's just a normal story's crate. It's not really part of the quest, right? No. Storage crate. There's another one over there. Oh my goodness. One of those things. Very good. Ugly looking bloody spider. All right. What's this one? That's a gear crate. All right. So on the map, we're looking at the square set of buildings in the, one of the backyards, right in the middle. Uh, we have the gear crate for the explore bookum. Munitions amplifier. Nice. I'll take that. Still gotta find one more gear crate. That one doesn't look quite as big, right? Well, that's where we've got our last book by the looks of it. What do you reckon there's something at the top of the uh, thing as well? There's no way near as big as the other one. Whew. 
Chaotic. What do we get? A stapler. Wow. You give you um something a little bit nicer than the standard resources. Maybe like some blueprint fragments or something like that. Place the books at the specified location in the church. Well, I guess it's a good idea that I came here. Andy, who are you? Uh, I'm gonna save him. Too many demons out there. I heard passing Mayfly that there's a rift entity in the monolith. And the source there could heal the afflicted of the corrosion. But you can heal these suckers, can you? I've been shooting him in the head. Okay, here's our uh, mystical chest. So let's grab that first. We'll do the ceremony as well. Uh, camping knife fragments. Okay, I'm gonna go camping. Sure. Let's return the books. Complete the ceremony. Hang on. Right, interact. What happens with this? Uh oh. Come on. Thought an enemy was going to come there. Okay, so you just rock up to the town and instinctively know that the books were stolen and you take them back, do a little ceremony to put them back, and we're done. That's a little bit of an odd quest. Yeah, that's a weapon crate up there, right? And there needs to be a way up. Can you shoot through there? Oh, <laughs> yes you can. Uh, uh oh. No! I'm out of ammo! Ah, I've been trigger happy. We're gonna need to go and uh, deal with some food back home. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Run. Oh, actually, I've got nearly 200 shots on the shotgun, but this way. Yeah. Can't shoot through the glass. Alright, well, that one's fairly obvious, although they're getting a shotgun out of that, which I probably don't need. DBSG1. T1, right? Yeah, it's not that great. Alright, well, as can be noted, the, uh, the church, the main thing of the church, mystical chest is in there. And then um, the the gear crate or the weapon crate is above the church, and you got to wander around the outside to get up to the top, uh, which ends up being pretty easy. So go onto the cemetery side. You can walk up the side, jump up, jump up, and you get to where you want to go. <laughs> oh, got him pretty good. Oh. Oh, blew him apart. Good. Right, we're off to see Mary. Bye bye, bike. <laughs> all right, Mary. Nice work with the rift anchors. Uh -huh. I guess you're the real deal after all. Yeah, and when were you helping? Hmm? Uh, that festering jewel packed serious firepower. Sounds tough, but I think it was worth it. And I've made some discoveries regarding the deviation as well. Each time a rift anchor was activated, there was an obvious reaction inside the monolith. The deviation must be holed up inside. What's the plan? Hey? Let's go in together this time. 
I'm curious about that troublemaker inside. And besides, we're a team. Really? I brought some ammo and meds for us as well. So did I. Funnily enough. Alright, respawn point. Let's go. You, you planning on helping? Thought we were a team. Ooh, weapon great. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we're in the monolith of greed. <laughs> ah, okay, that's your first end of the monolith of greed. We have the ammo crate, which is pretty much right here on the gate. So we'll keep that in mind. Oh my goodness, that was nice. So, yes, as you come up the stairs, before you even enter the facility, there is a crate for the quest. Maybe? No, that didn't count. Alright, let's go up the hill. <laughs> oh, look at you! Hello, Arbiter! Hiya! Oh, I missed. Get out of the way. You're not helping. Come here. Boom! Oh, it hit nicely, but it didn't do much damage. Six? What? Oh, there we go. He's back is the spot. What are you planning, buddy? Whoop. Whoop. Hey. Pretty slow, actually. Good. This space probably the wrong way, but whoop. Ow. She didn't do much damage, did it? Alright, Arbiter, what do you give me? Just some energy. Okay. Oh, come here. Hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, what are you? Oh, up we go. We'll get the roof tank while we're here. Crete. All right, so as you come up, when you enter the uh, place, you'll follow this through into the main entrance of the building where I killed the elite. Uh, instead of going straight ahead where the rift anchor is over there, basically wrap around to the left. On top of the building, you will find a gear crate. And the elite is back. Hello, Mr. Arbiter. We still haven't found the mystical crate, right? Stop calling your friends. Reload. We go through so much ammo here. One, two, three. And I guess my weapon's a bit better than what it was before, but that died quick. Let's have a quick look up here. Something there. Gunpowder, nice. Hey, it's the mystical crate. So when you go up the hill, so basically we followed the pathway up, we went all the way up here, we skipped the entrance of the Moth of Greed where I killed the uh, greed creature and then moved up the hill towards a medical facility uh, and inside that medical facility is a mystical crate. Submachine gun parts. Nice. I do need to fuse my blueprints and uh, 
start crafting some. But they're not too much better than what I've already got. Hello, Mary. You made it. I knew I could count on you. But we're supposed to be a team. We were supposed to be going together. You're quite good at handling deviants, aren't you? I gotta say, you've proven yourself to be a good teammate. <laughs> Uh, you followed me and you didn't help me. You ran off at the end by yourself. And, uh, yeah. You're telling me I'm a good teammate. Good on ya. 300 of that ammo, 300 of that ammo. Okay, we're really quite well set. Uh, mod for the helmet will give me crit rate and crit damage. Sure, that sounds good. Done. Mask has already got something. Chest plates. More melee. I'm not doing much melee, so let's just increase our weapon damage. It's got an extra like 12, 16%. No, it'd be 12. 12% damage if I just added four. Although I think one was a replacement by accident, so it's probably about an extra 9% damage on that 600 that I was doing. That sounds pretty bloody good. All right, the ravenous hunter. It was that weird yellow thing that escaped me? Apparently. It's <laughs> turned into this thing. Alright. Enter. Help. Help me. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried to take what was yours. while I'm in the middle of combat. Ah.
we got Neo. Immunity. Come on. Ooh. There we go. Homing missiles. I can't heal. Oh, Come on, festering gel. You are mine. Also, oh, I got something. Control. Let's take it. Oh, all right. Crit boost. Oh, green gear mods. Nice. Some weapon parts. Some stardust. And a half a picture. Claim it all. Ooh, and we got a the recurve. Nice. Might be worth uh, making that just for funsies. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That could have been fun. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah, we're back here. We can talk to Mitsuko. Hello. How you doing? You did it. I knew you could. I don't know why I was so worried. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. The fluctuations in Stardust seem to have grown calmer. And I feel stronger now. The more deviations we contain, the more the world will stabilize. And the more Mitsuko's power can grow. We still have five more monoliths to shut down. Until then, the physical world remains too dangerous for Mitsuko. Yes, but this is already a huge step forward. You've done your best. And we are already starting to see a change. I but did kind of get the help. Were they were wiped out by Rosetta. useless. All because of me. I was too weak to save them. It wasn't your fault. None of us were ready to take Rosetta head on. And Rosetta's not the only threat out there. Yeah, well. The great ones also cover Mitsuko's power. <laughs> if they so just remember, send you on quests and follow you and don't help you, of course they got all wet now. We can trust. Jeez. <laughs> uh, my helper that... Uh, Followed me through the entire battle and did nothing for me. My goodness. Alright. We are... Ooh, we're still on the Welcome Back quest, are we? Intriguing. Because we just did the Monolith of Greed, right? But it's saying to open the Mimetic to get the Bronze Crafting Mimetic. Bronze. Mitsukoi shared some new Mimetics with us. Let's head back to our territory and get some crafting done. We got our bronze crafting and we need to secure. We're still doing the welcome back quest, which is amazing. Uh, facilities, facilities done. Right. Pop another one down. Use this a festering gel. Can participate in combat to transform into shelter and block enemy attacks. Intriguing. Mm. All right. 
We're still doing welcome back. Okay. All right, we're back. And hopefully this will be the end of the welcome back quest line. Bravo! We'll see. The mayfly that brought down the fearsome ravenous hunter. Yes. Well, aren't you quite informed, my eccentric Hard man? To imagine such a little bit of gel transforming into such a monstrous creature, isn't it? Yet the most unbelievable part is that it managed to cause such chaos across the wetlands simply by spreading its memetics. Just to make sure, you didn't destroy it, did you? Uh, not this time. Fantastic. You've more than proven yourself. I'm very impressed. It's a shame that most people in this world don't appreciate the beauty of these fascinating entities. But clearly you are different. Well, that's you probably because I get killed by it, but you know. touch with deviations. I dare say you could even become an expert. I'd be glad to share my knowledge of deviations with you. In return, capture as many of them as you can for me. How do you know I so much? I simply pay attention and use my imagination. And you know, I think the deviations respect that. To quote a favorite poem of mine, I know that I exist because you imagine me. I think therefore I am slightly twisted. Uh, don't worry about me. I've been through the ringer plenty of times before. I mm. still owe you my thanks for finding out what happened and for bringing back my stuff. Here's the reward I promised. I'm a woman of my word. Well, now that that's settled, I think I'll move my trade over to the Broken Delta. If you need anything, come find me in Myers Market there. The Broken Delta. Maybe I should be looking for that place. Hmm. Oh, hello. I hadn't seen that one before. Extra dimensional cat. It's a very tiny thing of success. Uh, but I got it. <laughs> sure. Did I just get myself a little kitty cat? Investigate. No, that's Olsen notes. Looks like you'll be able to handle yourself just fine. I'll leave the deviation in there to you. As for me, I'm headed to the Broken Delta. You too, huh? I found traces of another major deviation there. One with even worse effects. You should head over and check it out. Try asking around at a settlement called Myers Market. Maybe I'll see you there. Also Myers Market. Intriguing. I'm glad we can make this place a bit safer. But it's time to move on. Before we set out for Myers Market, though, we'd better upgrade our weapons and armor. Things might be even more dangerous over there. We could also relocate our territory to make things easier. That's the plan. All right, let's have a look at the map. So it is definitely down the bottom here. So that's the new place we were going to. And I was considering relocating my base up here. Uh, there's still a ridiculous number of points within the local region that I have not done yet, which is a little bit surprising. We're going to skip doing down here. Where's the next one? Oh, okay. So there's a couple of new points over here. Right? So level 32, level 21, 45, and this is level 12. So in theory, we're going to be doing this area. We would then move to this area, followed by the Tall Grass Inn. Right? So it is definitely worthwhile. I'm going to go over here. All right, we'll go for a trip. We'll see if we can get ourselves a new base location. So a few resources in terms of metal. Although I'm going to have to walk a long way to get wood if I build there. I just think that the view is probably going to be better, isn't it? Some food spawns. I mean, I guess I could move down this way a little bit. Yeah, this might be quite nice. A little bit of a view, a little bit of a railway... We've got whatever this place is down here. We got that place there. And we got a monolith up there. Well, with that we're done. We've transferred the base. It's come across nicely. And we got the uh, the weird bus like creature walking past. But it's all good. Uh, I'm thinking of actually giving PvP a go. I don't really know how I'm going to make this actually happen. Mainly because um, 
because I don't play very often, I feel like I'm going to be behind the game and everyone's just going to be able to kill me, and I'm not going to have a good enough gear to kill them. But we'll see. I want to give it a go, see what it's like, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.